Okay. Yeah, so yeah, guys, if, you, uh, if you're headed out, thank you for the races. We'll see you around. And uh, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build the old, uh, the old M400. Noble. Do a little something, something. Gotta get a four by 900 mouse pad. How, how big is that? <laughs> In freedom units? Yeah, it's noble time. It is noble time. JP, uh, do you do you have the share code for it? Yeah. Oh, the, mine is 400 by 900? Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I don't know what uh what mine would be in in mills. God, look at this. Look at this beauty of a livery, the old Mountain Dew vehicle. Usually the big ones are 4 by 900. Okay. Uh, upgrades. Now, I think I want this in S1. We don't have any wide body or anything like that. We're gonna keep it obviously stock engine. How does it sound? That was fine. We'll see with the uh, with the exhaust what it sounds like. Hell yeah, it's certified noble hours. Yeah. We just got the Forza Aero, which um, we might wanna do. Interesting, okay. I feel like we'll probably go with the front arrow just because, you know, we want it. Uh, okay. Very good in rally. Really interesting. Okay. We're going to take off these wheels. I hate these wheels. Um, it's got semi... No. Okay. It's got like a sport compound stock. I think we're going to want to go up to semis for a rear wheel drive uh, S1 car. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, if anyone wants the share code for the Mark III Supra that's on my mouse pad, um, there you go. JP just shared it. Will you finish finish the live? Like, finish doing online? We are going to do more online after doing the Noble. Yes. We're not going to end the stream with building the Noble. If that's what you're asking. Oop. Mouse pad's like 47 by 23. Jeez, yeah, that's huge. That's that's massive. That sounds pretty good. All right, we got uh we got big boy tires on. It's not a lot of budget to work with here. That's fine though. I don't want to do any like super crazy stuff. Uh god, what tires would work on this? It's got to be kind of big cuz these are like 19s or maybe they're 18s, but uh yeah, they're 18s. I just don't like 18s on, on a small car like this. Yeah, S3. Yeah, we're going to keep the, the the wing for a GS stability. Hmm. God, those look so bad in 18s. I mean, fuck, it's, it's got to be the speed lines. <laughs> speed lines, they just look good on, on anything like this. We'll experiment with it a little bit, though. Um, let's start with, with some upgrades here. Let me just feel it out. Not the speed lines. We'll see. We'll see. And then what, what options? We do have weight reduction. We also have brakes. How much does this weigh? Wow. Yeah, we can get it down. Okay. Paint the wheels green. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to. Not with the livery, but, uh. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I mean, that's going to bring us like right to the tippy top. We're just going to, how much power does this make? 425. That's not a lot for S1. Oh dear. I mean, it's light. I think we've, I think we've done too much though. 447. Where's my exhaust? Work Meisters. We can try. Even that's, that's still 899. Sure. Oh, that's 901. Dang it. All right. Bring it back. There you go. It's a build. I feel like this is probably it's it's too light and too grippy to probably be fast. Let's let's just try it though real quick. What the heck? My cars have 1500 horsepower and B of course 500. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> that doesn't make for a good car in B class though. <laughs> It's able to fit there because you got no grip. 
You gotta find the balance somewhere. Let's, um... I don't know, let's just drive it in the open world quick. Yeah, this is, this is too slow. Is it at least, like, hyper grippy? I mean, it turns. It turns on a dime. Does it top 1%? Yeah, but, like, I don't know. Most things can get top 1% with a good enough driver, you know? This just, this just doesn't have the power. It turns, though. It does turn. We might, uh, take off the... You think it doesn't need the front arrow? Okay. I was gonna say maybe go down on tire compound. But yeah, if it doesn't need the arrow, we'll take that off. I mean, it's topping out at, like, 160. Which is just... That's just too slow. Just too slow. Okay. Let's get rid of the front downforce. Oop, that gives us a little bit. Do we, we could either go, we could go down in compound. Let's start by going down in compound and keeping the wide tires because we're on max width. Um, and then let, let's just start putting some power into it. Is that 897? 877, okay, we got plenty. Cams is gonna bring us up. That's okay though. It's trying to do like everything but turbo. But maybe we should just do the turbo. Yeah, okay, let's let's take that out and that out. 898. See, look at all that power. 900. 665. Okay. Let's just try this. Let's see if it's it's still got the grip. Because if it does, that's a much better place to be in. What's wrong with turbo? Oh nothing. I was it's either but you have to like pick between because turbo is just a big upgrade. So I was just trying to do all the upgrades besides turbo because you can't do like all the upgrades with turbo. <laughs> JP, JP dropping. Whoop! Hi, Avatar. <laughs> dropping the thousand bits. Hey, man, I'm glad to uh, glad to have you here. Appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. Okay, yeah, it still turns on a dime. Oh, there's the M600. Look at it. You got the uh, the nobles. Oh, it's okay. It does understeer more without the arrow. Good to know. <laughs> we can probably mess with that in the tune, though. I mean, it still turns really well. I was just giving it, like, all the credit. Yeah, I mean, it still locks in at, at speed here. Still not a great top speed. And yeah, it's a little understeer, but we can fix that with the tune. Okay. There's something here. There's something here. Let's, um... This is the M400, yep. Let's take it to Arrivals and just kind of like see... Maybe get like a little bass tune on it. See where we're sitting. Uh... Sure. We'll start with this one. What's our what's our S1 time on this? Do we have like a, it's probably like the Audi or something? Do you like cars more grippy or powerful? Grippy. Mm, oh, the Aventador. Oh, interesting. Okay, one of our online builds. Alright, well, let's just put it up. Put it up here. Yeah, the M600 is like one of my favorite cars for sure. Love me the M600. M400's cool, but 600's a was a big favorite in Horizon 4, for sure. Here we go. Oh, we should have. We should have like. Hold on, hold on. Restart. Oop. I gotta at least put a little bit of adjustment into it. Big old diff. Let's go. Let's let's start. Let's just start 75. Well, 80. And then we we have tunable rear. We'll see if we need that. Uh, ride height, let's drop. ARBs, let's kind of swap that around a little bit. Let's go like here and here. Alignment's too aggressive. Let's go like 1.8 and 1. A little bit of toe. 
probably needs more speed. Let's just try there for now. Uh, 30, 33 on the rears. Interesting. Let's bring that down a little bit. Let's go 28.5, 30.5. Let's try that. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Uh, S3, I think it's just because it's like... That's, that's more standard to like what a road car is. You know? So... It's a little bit squirrely if you go too hard there, okay. Turning's good though. It feels like it's got some, some pretty good speed. This is the big test section right here. That's pretty good, hold some good speed through that. Okay, let's see how she does against the Aventador. More speed than the Aventador a little bit. Interesting. Kind of messed up that corner. Okay, hold on. Let's try that again. Start at the top of the lap. I was not expecting that to be faster than the Aventador. Out of the straight. It's curious. Okay, it's, it's pretty much keeping pace. That's pretty good. It's actually catching it a little on the straights there. That's not bad. That's not bad right out of the box. Oh, I went so wide, oh no. Okay, let's, let's rewind. See if I can kind of keep it on. Still went wide. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. I want I want to get like a good cut on that. I mean, we can just do another lap, but yeah, so be it. That works. That works. I mean that's like that's nuts on with the with the Aventador. Huh. Okay. This is actually not not too shabby. I messed up that corner again. I mean that's okay, but. Look at us. Beating the Aventador. Not wide. So wide. Oh, Lord. All right. I mean, yeah. This, I'd say this is a build. No, oh, Mountain Dew Car is doing great. We actually just almost beat ourselves. Pretty good on grip. I mean, we, that's totally, that's absolutely able to beat the Aventador. That is right on pace with him. Oh yeah, 100% with a good laugh, that would beat it. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna almost just call it there. I mean, it, Whoops. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it there. I mean, that's good. It's, it's not bad. Cool. Okay. Uh, is there anything I really want to do with it? I don't think so. Oh, it felt fine. We'll, we'll see if we get it online. There we go. Alright, middle of the pack. Let's see. Who else took uh, some rear wheel drive? Looks like a couple of you guys might have. Alright, does grip up. It well enough in second. All right, we gotta we gotta dial the uh, dial the handling in here on this. Get used to it. Oh, the the uh, the, uh, the M600 driven by Roaring, I think. 
I'm trying to like focus on the road. Oh lord, that scared me. Somebody's coming up. Subaru went wide. Nice corner. Hey, the GTR LM. Magnus, cool pick. <laughs> Alright, I was wondering how it would do in that section. Just a little bit of throttle control, it does well. Love it. It's a little bit nerve-wracking at speed. Oh, everybody went wide. Oh, oh, did, okay. Something must have happened. Look at us. Look at us roaring. The two nobles. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Stay on it. Stay on it. Yeah. All right. Dude, noble power. M6, who, uh, I don't know what Ho is in, but, uh, dude, that's awesome. Very cool. Oh, Ho is in a, dude! Yes! The Nobles, man! M4, M6, and another M4 taking the top three. Dude. Yes! Alright, let's see if that keeps up. Abstract did well in a Noble as well. I mean, they're probably gonna ha still have, like, STI trims on some Subarus. Maybe they're just not doing, maybe the STI, you know how they separated the Impreza and the WRX? Maybe they're gearing up to just make an STI. And the WRX is gonna be like the rally car, the STI is gonna be like the road car. That that would be the, the best way to come out of that situation. But I, don't, I haven't been following it. I did hear there wouldn't be a, um, I did hear there wouldn't be an STI of this WRX, which is so weird. Why, why not? STI is like one of the most famous sports cars in the world. Roaring, dude, yeah, another one, two, three for the Nobles. Another one, two, three. I think that's the exact same position we finished in on the last race. And okay, Noble, our abstract was sixth on this one, okay. All right, it's opened up. Let's see if we can make some moves here. Jacoon. Oh shit. Went left when I should have gone right. Classic racing mistake. Oh no, Ho and Roaring are both up there. Oh, I've let my nobles down. I think they're still gonna take it. I missed that checkpoint, didn't I? No! No, I didn't! <laughs> How? How did I not miss that? Oh, it's the Noble, man. The Noble's too good. It's like, yeah, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. We'll let you have that one. <laughs> Guys. We're at, we're at DEFCON 1 here. Situation is critical. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo! The, the one, two, three, we fucking did it! Yes! No way! We pulled it back. We pulled it back. The nobles. Yes! The nobles, let's fucking go, dude. Holy crap, man. <laughs> and abstract and fifth again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was unbelievable. I cannot, oh, dude. That cements it, man. Three races in a row, one, two, and three. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, the, the, literally the leaderboard has looked the same on every three race. <laughs> You're right, it's all staged. It's all staged. These are all paid actors. Oh, man. That was so cool. I cannot believe that. As soon as I, as soon as it, I hit the 90, and I, I thought for sure I missed that checkpoint, my heart just sank. And then it came back. The next checkpoint thing popped up, and I was just like, <gasps> there's a, there's hope. There's a chance. <laughs> oh man, you guys. That, that was one of the coolest racing experiences I've ever had. I fucking love it, man.